one of the things that was crazy is I was in Ring of Honor for a couple of years already and had bounced around and, you know, hadn't really done much and, you know, was beginning to doubt, you know, well, why did they sign me if, if you know, if, if I wasn't going to get the chance to do things that I wanted to do? And all of that sort of changed uh, a couple of years ago uh, in, in October when I had my match with Jeff Cobb in Philly. And mm. ever since then, it was kind of the perfect storm of situations. Like I have that match um, with an absolute banger. I, I had a point to prove when I got to the venue that day. Uh, and, and I had told Jeff as much um, that I, I really wanted to open a lot of eyes and shut a lot of mouths. Uh, he, he agreed. And we, you know, had the match that we had. Um, and then, like, right after that, I went to the U.K. for six weeks and got to wrestle guys like David Starr and, you know, just so, so many of the talents that they have in the U.K. And so while the, while the U.K. buzz was happening, the Jeff mm -hmm. Cobb match hit TV. So then that buzz on top of that, you know, came into uh, – that rolled right over into the end of the year and uh, contract time, which is always a good time to be on a roll when you're in contract time. Um, and so once we did that, that led, you know, to my first ever singles match on pay-per-view. Now, this is all already three years or so after I've been with the company. And this is my very first singles match on pay-per-view. So that lets you know where my head was at, where the amount of frustration was coming from. But Yeah, absolutely. You know, but in, in talking to the people closest to me, you know, they, they assured me and they told me what I needed to do, which is what I already knew, and that is, you get to now go show them exactly why they messed up. You get to go show them. You get to go show the world exactly why it was a mistake to put this chip on your shoulder. And now you get to do what you do best and not make everybody look stupid. Um, so that's exactly what we did. And, and, and we went out there and then had the second match and had a great time there, blew the roof off the place. And ever since then, you know, matches with Bandito, matches with Joe Hendry, matches with, you know, uh, anybody they put in the ring with me, Eli Isom, um, anybody that I defended my world television championship against, it was my point to go out there and say, this is the championship. This is the match that everyone is going to be talking about when they leave. I don't care who you thought was a star when you got into this venue. I don't care who they want you to believe is the very best on the roster. I don't care what social media says or who everybody is riding the wave of right now. When you come to this show and you watch me compete, you will leave this venue. You will leave this event going, God damn, Shane Taylor is the man. That was my goal. Uh, and the entire time I carried that championship, that's what I wanted people to uh, go home thinking about and remembering. 